Members from the Communities Before Development Group have staged a protest at the East Devon District Council offices in Sidmouth against the potential plans to build over 16,000 homes in the district by 2026. Uh, we're very worried that uh, free development over our fields uh, will just take away all of the assets which Sidmouth has as a tourist centre, as a resort and a lovely place to live. Claire Wright, the organiser of the march, claims councillor Sarah Randall-Johnson made a U-turn on a pledge to review the extent of development which could be permitted in the local development framework. We're not convinced that East Devon District Council really intends to reduce the numbers of houses in the industrial estates and there was a press release that went out before Christmas where um, the leader of the council said that that would happen um, but now they are um, getting consultants to check the figures and review the figures rather than actually just reducing the number of houses in industrial estates. The protesters' march backwards symbolised that the council's plans are also backwards. John Underwood, a parliamentary candidate for the Liberal Democrats for Tiverton and Honiton, hopes that the councillors live up to their promises. We're hoping that they will live up to the promise they made, the leader made, just before Christmas, where she said, yeah, actually, we're going to get rid of this local development framework. We're not going to build you know, a settlement four times the size of Honiton, in addition to what's already here in East Devon, and we're actually going to do what the people of East Devon want. But since then, there's been a certain amount of backtracking, and we're just here to remind them what the people of East Devon really do want. The council declined an interview, but gave this statement. Today's protest is based on an issue that is pure fantasy. The marchers are protesting about what they claim is a U-turn. The council said in December that it would be reassessing its planning policy in 2011, and this is exactly what we still intend to do. Mrs Wright was delighted with the turnout and still remains optimistic of reaching an agreement with the council. I'm absolutely delighted with the turnout. I think it's, it's, a, it's a real testimony to the amount of people that are clearly still feeling this is a really, really important issue and um, are still very worried about the fact that there doesn't seem to be a commitment from councillors on East District Council to actually properly amend the document.